Hey guys, Matt here. Hopefully it's not too windy for you to hear me, but uh, it's lunchtime and I thought I'd do a quick project using one of our new universal uh, tech plates, we're calling them. Uh, I'm gonna flip you around and show you the inside of my Raptor here. All right, so I've got my uh, armrest here pulled apart, center console lid. I tore out the uh, liner here, starting at the bottom, prying upwards, and when you get to the top, you see these holes here. That's where the latch mechanism is, so you've gotta push this in to get it to release, and then that'll pop out. It's just held in by a series of clips here. You can see them on the back side. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take our smallest tech plate here, and I'm gonna basically mount it like that. I'm gonna mount it to this liner here though. So I've kind of figured out where about I need it to go in between these clips. So I'm gonna go ahead and what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use one of our hardware kits I'm just gonna drill some holes, use a spacer with the included machine screw and nut and get it attached in there. So let's do that quick. All right, so we're looking at the back side of the liner here because then I can see the clips. We obviously don't wanna drill into one of these. And what I figured out is we basically want this panel to sit in here like this, an eighth of an inch higher on the bottom than these clips. So like something like that, and I'm gonna center it and then I want to put the bolts on the outside of this slot. So I'm going to mark those holes and drill them now. All right, so I'm going to use a quarter inch drill bit. I'm going to drill from the back side of the panel here, which I've got marked. You can see that dot. That quarter inch hole is going to give us plenty of size to get a number 12 machine screw in there with some room for fine adjustment. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. these holes drilled I'm going to use some of our hardware here to mount the panel so that I can drill the other holes um, this is all stuff that's a part of our uh, tech plate hardware kit um, that comes with six of everything we're just going to use four of these longer spacers for the washers for the countersunk M uh, uh, number 12 along with the nuts and washers we may have to trim these off with a little cutoff wheel or a dremel um, to get it to fit back into the uh, lid but we'll see so I'm going to go bolt that up now all right, so I flipped it over. I got my two holes here. I'm going to set this panel in place. I'm going to mark hole locations up in these upper corners and drill those. This is bolted in there now loosely. You can see I've still got the ability to move it around a little bit. Uh, it clears these pen holders nicely with these larger 5 8 inch spacers. Um, so I'm going to get it nice and straight. I'm going to tighten down the hardware. And then depending on what's sticking out of the backside of the nut here, we may need to zip them off with a rotary tool, <clears throat> but we'll try and test fit it first. Hardware is tight, panel is super secure. I'm going to try and click this in there and uh, see how it looks. So I meant to take a picture, but I literally just set this in place and it popped right in place. Shuts, no problem. Opens, no problem. You can feel a little bit more weight on there um, with this kind of the spring-loaded opening there but uh man that was slick piece of cake now i'm gonna mount some stuff to it all right so i stepped inside quickly because i got kind of windy outside but all you need to complete that installation is one of our smaller tech plates uh that's 10 inches by seven and a half inches and one of our 42 piece uh installation hardware kits you notice that i only used a handful of the hardware so if you get multiple plates you may only need one hardware kit um certainly good stuff to keep in your toolbox for other installations in the future so uh if you got any questions leave them in the comments